Driving down the dirt roads out here in Elmer County, I'll tell you, there's just something therapeutic about doing that. Um, you know, the music playing and just kind of windows down, hair blowing. <laughs> Not that I have any. Uh. <laughs> Well, hey there. Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you here with me. I uh, realized over the last couple of days that uh, I've kind of neglected photography in the state of Colorado. And uh, most of my photography this year has been on trips. You know, we had that great trip up to Grand Teton National Park at the beginning of the year to, to start the year off right and went through Flaming Gorge National Recreation Area. Just got some beautiful photos from that trip. Got to see the moose out there in front of the Tetons, a couple of moose going at it, standing up against each other. and. Uh, and uh, it was just a great trip. And then, of course, we went down to uh, Arizona and, and saw the Grand Canyon, Sedona, came back through Bryce uh, National Park, Canyonland National Park, Arches National Park, just a fantabulous trip. And uh, then, of course, you know, we went out to Yosemite and uh, shot out there for the firefall. And uh, what an experience that was to see the firefall in person and to be able to photograph that. And, and then uh, just most recently wrapped up another trip to San Francisco with some great shots of uh, Point Arena Lighthouse, uh, Pigeon Point Lighthouse house and uh, as well as the Golden Gate Bridge and the Bay Bridge and downtown San Francisco. Um, so but most of these trips have all been out of state and I really haven't focused on getting shots here in my home state of Colorado. So this weekend I'm rectifying that and last night I had the opportunity to go out and photograph the full moon coming up over Denver and it was right at sunset and so I've got this beautiful color in the sky and then I've got this full moon coming up, I've got the buildings that are just basking in that golden hour light and uh, really a photo I really think turned out well. And then today I've spent some time getting a little bit of dirt road therapy and I'll tell you there's just something therapeutic about driving down a dirt road and uh, you know the windows down and you know the wind blowing music playing and just uh you know just enjoying the scenery and enjoying you know looking at the old buildings the old farms the old homesteads and and uh, i just really enjoy it um you know i had an opportunity to see some pronghorn running through the hills and and then i also saw a beautiful uh, windmill out there just spinning and pumping water and, and uh, the, the windmills are always magical to me i just love seeing them and uh, where i found myself now in elbert county this beautiful old barn and uh, I, I love just the texture of the wood on this bar and I, I love the roof and, and the dilapidated state of affairs this building is in and, and then I look out and I see all these surrounding buildings and, and some of them have fallen down and some of them look like they could fall down any day. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about photographing these old buildings like this is you don't know how much longer they're going to be standing. I mean, are they going to fall down tomorrow? Are they going to fall down tonight? I mean, you know, you get one good storm comes through with some wind. Is it going to push it over? And, and so I really enjoy the opportunity to just come out and photograph these old buildings. And what I really try to do is try to add some, uh, some, some beauty to it, if you will, by trying to get it at a nice sunset or try to get something like the moon coming up or something that's going to add to it and just kind of take that rustic old feel to it it as well as just the beauty of the day and that's the goal here so I've got this old barn sitting here in front of me I've got my 12 to 24 millimeter lens on um, so I can sit up a little bit closer to the barn and get it a uh, pretty wide angle get it all in and then really just hoping for some beautiful color in this in the sky here with the clouds once the Sun starts to go down it doesn't look like the cloud cover over on the horizon is really heavy so I think we could get some nice golden light and I think that could really reflect off some of these clouds just going to have to wait and see what happens. But I'm glad to have you here. Let's get some photos taken. My composition for this shot's pretty straightforward. I've got this barn. It's the centerpiece of my photo. And I'm really just trying to capture the detail of the barn. Uh, the sky to the left here is actually pretty bright and I know that's going to blow out if I were to try to take photos right now. Uh, it's just uh, too bright compared to the rest of the scene. I could dial down my exposure compensation and underexpose it. You can see right now I'm underexposing by a third of a stop. But if I go too low then I'm going to ruin the shadows inside the barn as well as on this right side of the barn. 
So the idea right now is just to kind of wait until those lighting conditions improve a little bit. The sun's going to come down more. It's going to not kind of blow out that left side near as bad. And it'll kind of balance out the scene between the brights and the darks and uh, provide for a better shot. I know I can recover shadows in post. I know that I can recover highlights in post. But if I blow it out too much or I clip the shadows too much, then it really makes it difficult to really capture everything that I want in the scene. So waiting until the lighting conditions get a little bit better at the same time, hoping I get more color in the sky is going to be the right thing to do here. Well, the sun is just dipped below the horizon. And uh, so now the lighting is starting to balance itself out between what was really bright over on the left and a little bit shadowy over here on the right. Looking at my viewfinder, I still think I'm going to be too dark with this. Uh, right now I've got it at 1 30th of a second. You can see I'm, I'm in manual mode and I'm underexposing by... Uh, two stops here and so when I take this photo you can see I'm still blowing out a little bit on the left not terrible nothing I'm really going to be concerned about but that flashing white you see on the screen there that means I'm clipping my shadows um, there's a couple different things I could do I could raise my exposure up a little bit I could make for a, a, a longer shutter speed a longer shutter speed is going to expose more light allow more light in into the picture and would get rid of those shadows but if i do that the effect is that area that you see flashing black on the left side is just going to grow bigger because i'm going to blow out those highlights the other option i have and it's what i'm going to do next is i'm going to expose for the sky and for the ambient and then i'm going to take another shot and i'm going to expose for the barn so that i can get those shadows whenever i take it and put it on the computer i'll sandwich the two files together to get a nice exposure blend so that i'm able to balance out the highlights and the shadows and a nice beautiful shot Right now, if I'm going to do that, there's no sense in going with this 1 30th of a second here. We can actually make it a faster shutter speed, expose less, so that we don't clip those highlights. Let's do that now. We'll make this at 1 50th. You can already see the effect that that's going to have on the screen there when I take this photo. And now we're not blowing out the highlights. Now, let's slow that down and let's actually let more light into the camera in order to expose for the barn and let's see the effect we have there still have some shadows let's go ahead and do another one and make it a little bit slower here bring those shadows you can see the effect already that we're seeing through the camera here and let's try that out just a very minute amount of shadow in there. I'm okay with that. It's going to add some contrast to the shot. You can see what we've done to the sky with it like this. It's completely blown out. No detail whatsoever. Not where we want to be. This is going to be a good one. Let's go ahead and bring in just a little bit more and see what we can do there. None of the shadows are clipped. I think this is going to be a nice shot for the barn. Let's go back and try and get some of the color in this sky now. Let's go ahead and bring this shutter speed down into here like so and we've got just a little bit blown out got some color coming in the sky let's go ahead and move just a little bit that way we're going to blow out a little bit more of the sky not too bad again focusing on contrast want to make sure i'm not too dark in the sky over on the right side make sure it's picking up the color this golden hour as the clouds start to reflect that sun as it's gone down below the horizon let's try to really capture that we'll just take a couple different settings one of the things i always like to do when i'm out taking photos is i always like to take different exposures and there's no sense in going home with a hundred shots of the exact same exposure if if that exposure wasn't right then you have a hundred shots of a photo you're not going to be happy with and it's only memory space so i'll continue to make adjustments here and then i can continue to just balance out my photo and get it the way that i want it you see just rolling through there let's go ahead and bring this up just a little bit say there And I think between all those, we'll be able to put together a photo. I'm going to stick just a little bit longer and hope that we actually get a little bit better color on these clouds up there. I'm loving the texture of the clouds. I'm loving the light wispiness of them. I think they're going to turn out good, but I just want a little bit more color on it. So we're not going to break down the setup yet. We're going to wait and see if we get something better. 
Well, as luck would have it all around me, it's just beautiful color. You can even see behind me, there's some beautiful color along the horizon. It's beautiful color along the horizon there. Not really picking that up in my frame, um, shooting very wide angle. And so it's a little bit harder whenever you've got color on the horizon there to pick it up. The clouds that were above the uh, barn here have pretty much just dissipated. So they didn't capture a lot of color. You can see as I make the adjustments on the shutter speed here, that those clouds are pretty much just gone. So didn't get the color there that I was hoping for, but still got a little bit of warm light on the clouds that were here earlier. Um, that's just kind of how it works. You know, sometimes the clouds stick around, pick up the color you're looking for. Other times the clouds just disappear and you're just left holding an empty bag. That may be the case here. But overall, I think I'm happy with the shot that I got here. I'm going to go home. I'm going to put it together on the computer and again, do those exposure blends so that I can make sure I capture the shadows here in the barn as well as the highlights in the sky and uh, see what kind of photo I can come up with. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so and ring that bell so that you're notified next time I upload a video, especially if I'm out here photographing colorful Colorado. Until then, happy shooting.